welcome into this carrier update, Donnie. And if you are a carrier exposed to smart market looking for something positive, for sure rates up. Yeah. So we talked about this a few days ago. We looked at some seasonality on the NTI, and pretty much from now through Christmas time, we're going to see spot rates on average slowly climb, mm -hmm. not very quickly, but a slow increase as we go through the next three or four weeks. Yep. Uh, and that's what we saw the past four years. Is it going to happen this year? Well, so far, so good. Mm -hmm. We've seen uh, ever since about the middle of the month of November, spot rates slowly climbing. Now, I'm talking about slowly. We were at 220, you know, 222 back on the 13th. Now we're at 230. So it's only eight cents over the last 15 days. So less than a penny a day. But that's not the point of this chart. This chart is to show us that it is it has moved direction. up. Yeah. So it is happening. Spot rates are starting to pick up. So we need to keep that in mind. And as you get on here, start pushing up. Look at your maps. If you see the, especially using the, the, the head haul map where they're, they're overbooked, more loads and trucks start pushing those prices up. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the other things to look at is knowing when you're booking the first, what day is important. Yeah. Because if you look at the days, it has a dramatic impact on what the rate the that day, day is even, even the that time. time yeah so here just to right quick before i get to that you know we see the daily we saw some uh you know big drops right before the holidays or you know and then we saw them pick up uh above the average and here yesterday 235 so we're above the 230 that's going to help pull this up even higher but as you say if it's same day pickup increase your rate yes you get to about three o'clock in the afternoon two or three o'clock in the afternoon it's same day pickup really push your rate up yeah because there's not many hours left they couldn't get it booked all morning now they're calling you at two or three o'clock they have an issue or somebody just fell off that load and now they got to recover it yeah so sure if it's two or three days in advance don't expect a great rate they're going to push it down but as you get closer to that pickup date and time rates go up yeah look at you Look at the expectations around Sundays too, right? I mean, look, the 12th was a Sunday higher than it was at any point. Then you see the 19th, also a Sunday higher than it was. You see the latest Sunday higher than it's been. So just understanding that really around these weekends that you have this opportunity to push the rates higher and you need to take advantage because if you don't, you'll end up taking the rate that's down Sure. These dramatic ones that are below the, the overall rate. And I say, check your check your markets, see what rejection rates are doing, and use your uh, tools, the MD Plus or uh, the regular, to see what rates, spot rates are going at, and you can compare it to the contracted rates. But these will all help you in this pricing game. <clears throat> Let's look at some diesel fuel here. Diesel fuel continues to fall. But like I say, it's very slow, but it is going in the right direction. Yeah, it's one of the benefits. And I kind of talked about it yesterday, when that you're having revenues increase, right? Spot rates are going up. And you're one of your largest expenses is declining. This is the chance to make money. If you're making, this is the chance to you should be making should money. be making money, right? Diesel fuel wasn't. I mean, yeah, it's more still really high, and we talked about it on Tuesday. Looking at where to fill up is going to be the difference in making money and losing money. Because <clears throat> if you fill up in the wrong location, yes, this is the national average that you're seeing. But market to market, the prices are very different. Different, yeah, so. especially on California and up in the Northeast. Yeah. yeah, this is the time they should be making money. This is what's happening. It's eating, uh, sucking up all their profits. And we'll look at. We're going to look at it tomorrow. We're going to look at the difference of the authorities that are going out. Yeah. And I think starting about now, I think a lot of these guys are going to see that they can't make money this fourth quarter like they did in the previous yeah. ones, and they're going to hang it up and they're gonna be done. Cause yeah. you, they know going into January and February, if they can't do it right now, if they're struggling right now in November and December, when we get to January and February, it's going to be much worse. Yeah, the conversations, and, and we've talked about it here, is what, what does the carrier do? What does that owner operator do? Do they try to stick it out over the holiday and try to make as much as they can and hope that's enough to, to pull them through into, really through the first quarter, right? Or do they realize, hey, the money's not there. We're just gonna stay at home and enjoy the holidays with our family. And that ultimately will pull capacity off the market. 
faster and help push rates up. So it, it's kind of like they're at home. A, they're at home, but someone else is going to benefit from that. So a lot of guys are signing on with companies, but the guys that are in trouble are the guys that jumped in during COVID. They went and overpaid for their trucks, yep. overpaid for their trailers. They made some good money in the spot market, but they blew it on a new house or a new car. And now they got a $150,000 truck, $75,000 trailer, and they can't make those payments, yeah. especially right now with, with, the, with the given conditions. Yeah, absolutely. Donnie, thank you so much for this update. We'll be sure to check in with you one more time before the end of the show. Right now, we'll hand it back over to Thomas and Kaylee.